Mesa Verde National Park sits atop a mesa in southwest Colorado and is the only U.S. national park where the focus is on human activity. A thousand years ago, the tabletop mesa teemed with pre-Columbian inhabitants, peoples who lived in this desert landscape for twice as long as the United States has been a country. A four-hour tour in the national park gave us a chance to get up close to the archaeological sites. Our guide led us through the history of Mesa Verde as shown through the changes in architecture. We began with the pit houses of the early residents. They survived by dry farming corn, beans, and squash. Soon they began building single-walled dwellings of wattle and dab. Over time, walls became thicker, then sturdy stone and beams were used. We stopped to look into traditional kivas, the round subterranean rooms where ceremonies were held. Most classic kivas share a southern orientation marked by a fireplace, a vent, and a spirit entrance. Mesa Verde is famous for the homes of the cliff dwellers. Square Tower House, the tallest structure in the park, is perched above Navajo Canyon, one of the many canyons that cut into the mesa. The most impressive set of ruins at Mesa Verde, and there are more than 5,000 all told, is Cliff Palace. With an original 150 rooms and 23 kivas, it is the largest evacuated cliff dwelling in North America. Cliff Palace was built to impress. It shows the prosperity of the people, and the carefully constructed buildings show that they knew math and how to apply it. The ruins at Mesa Verde are magnificent, and while they give us a window into this ancient culture, they also raise a lot of questions.